Hello guys. So this is a guide on the polishers, uh, a new feature which has been implemented in 1.4 update and it's a bit confusing for some of you. So I will just quickly describe how it works. So what you can see here is a polisher selector. There are two of the polishers and uh, you can select to work on number one, both or number two and you can also see the status of the polisher so this one is green and, and this one is red so basically green polisher means that uh, it's connected to the system so you should use this one obviously uh, red one means it's bypassed in other words uh, the water is not going through the polisher it's just bypassing it around so you can uh, you can uh, decide to to select this and work on bypass polisher and then you don't have to like, care about anything because uh, so this is thought as a way to just play without polishers at all you can select the bypass one and and forget it about it but uh, this comes with a penalty in the a score similar to using uh, one auto control system uh, so it's preferred of course to work on uh, the green polisher but in that case you have to uh, check the status of the polisher so so these two uh, gauges tell you the status of the polisher so you have this conductivity and uh, differential pressure of the filter uh, so as long as you are below the yellow field it's okay but polisher with time will uh, degrade you will have to regenerate it at some stage uh, we also have this switch it's used to check the status of polisher one or two so now we are looking at polisher number one if we switch it we are looking at polisher number two but because this polisher is bypassed there is no water flowing through it you, you cannot check the status from mm, this console at this moment but if we okay no we, we cannot do it okay. uh, because if it's bypassed then obviously the water won't flow through it even if we like select to use it okay so that's how it works in the control room now i will go to the condenser hall and we'll have a look at the uh, polishers okay as you can see we have also a new Geiger counter you can use it you can also use it to detect leaks leaks can be found in this area if you find some high radioactivity here there might be a leak ok let's go back to the subject so this is the panel so here is the polisher number one here is the polisher number two they are quite similar just like reflected by a mirror and here are three tanks regeneration tanks uh, so again you can check the status of the polisher here so these are the same values which you saw in the control room and uh, okay let's, let me just describe how this works so the water comes from the left side here is the bypass valve if you bypass it just goes around and if you let it go through the polisher then it goes out also yeah that's how it works and uh, if a uh, polisher has a uh, if, if it's on the yellow field you are risking a pump trip 
you don't want that, so you want to regenerate the pollution. So how do you do it? So the first thing you want to do before you touch any of this stuff is to bypass. You cannot like work with the polisher until it's mm, bypassed. So let me do it. As you see, we lose the flow. Mm, but, and uh, yeah, now this polisher will be displayed as red in the control room. So before you do that, you should actually like coordinate with uh, coordinate it with the main control room mm, because obviously they might be surprised that suddenly the status of the police have changed you should always be able to provide the control room with just with at least one <laughs> clean polisher to use so it should be first coordinated which polisher we want to use and they should select it and then you can bypass the other one in this bypass stage, you can recirculate the water through the polisher by this recirculation valve and pump. So if you do it, you can see the status again. So this is a way to check the status of the polisher while it's bypassed. So now the water is just like recirculating around in a closed loop. Okay. okay. Turn this off. And now, uh, let's say I want to regenerate this pollution. So I will have to use a regen tank. So there are three tanks here, and the color means different status. So the red one means it's empty, uh, the green one means it's ready to be used, and the yellow one means that it has been filled with the resin from the uh, polisher but it hasn't yet started regenerating so obviously i should select this tank it's the only one empty at this moment and uh, in order to do this i just have to set up these valves so let's imagine that i'm taking the resin from here going here and I want to go with the upper route and this is the proper setup so this way i connect polisher to this tank if i wanted to use for example tank number three i would have to do it this way so now i'm going this way to this tank and if i wanted to use the middle one this is how i would do it so maybe at first it might seem a bit confusing but once you know how it works you have no problems okay so back to this setup so now i want to eject this uh, resin into the tank i just press the water button it should start blinking and now the process has started you can see it here polisher one is flashing with water and tank number one inserting resin so this procedure takes three minutes mm, when it's done uh, then i will have to flash this with air so i'll just press this button and after another three minutes it's gone the polisher is empty and the tank will have this yellow status which means that it's ready for regeneration so once this happens so if you have this yellow status you just press this button and it will start regenerating flashing yellow means it's regenerating the whole process is automated it takes like 15 minutes but you don't have to supervise it, you can just leave it like this and forget about it. And the last thing you want to do once this has been regenerated, it will become green. So we have middle tank here, which is ready to be used. Yeah, ready to use. So what you want to do is to insert this resin back 
to the polisher. So I will use polisher number two here. It's empty, as you can see. Red is empty. You can always confirm polisher two is empty. So again, I have to set up the way from this tank to this polisher. So obviously, this goes right here and this way. Uh, setup so now if I want to insert it just press the button again and you see flashing green means it's being inserted let's see tank number two is refilling into polisher and polisher status is refilling that's, that's basically how it happens at the end, when this process is completed, you want to run the recirculation, check the status of the new polisher, and at the end, disable the bypass and call the control room that it's ready to be used. So I'm, I'm not going to go through the whole process. See polisher 1 status is now awaiting air flash so the first step is completed so now we are pressing air and uh, now the water is removed from the polish and it just continues so that's that's how it basically works uh, hopefully this is helpful and yeah, have fun with it. Thank you for your attention.